We all need a clean air to live. At the same time, we all use geo-resources. Human activities around geo-resources involve mining sites, heavy metal recycling sites, and are used in urban environments. Activities linked to geo-resources emit particles in the air. We are all concerned. The air we breathe. In this project, we want to provide a way to monitor the air we breathe with a low environmental impact. For that, we develop passive biosensors. Our idea is to use vegetation, such as this tree bark. Vegetation can trap airborne particles due to their structure. This makes it possible for us in our laboratories to detect magnetic particles, such as little magnets, and we use this is little magnets to trust over particles released by human activities. With three bags, we will imagine together new sensors to be used around the world to share knowledge within and between our communities. We have developed the local samples in the RGU project. Our in São Paulo is the democratized notion of the environmental risk that many people are exposed today. We want to empower them with the knowledge about air pollution, the mitigation, and what the government should do to control it. We are developing a low-cost active sample to collect magnetic particulate matter in regions highly affected by air pollution. It captured magnetic particles using new dimming magnets in a standard computer pen. It is a 3D printable equipment in open source. We compare the pollution to regions, democratize the study and education of these cities. Sebikotan is a city, middle city, 60 kilometers from Dakar, that has about 30,000 inhabitants. And the idea is to work with the social uh, cultural center and with the inhabitants, with the ecosystem, from theater to the community radio and different activities. We implement the sensors around the house with the inhabitants, around their fields, and to follow the impact of the population on their ecosystem on the long term. Plusieurs études scientifiques ont rapporté qu'un grand nombre de décès prématurés ainsi que de maladies, des maladies respiratoires et cardiovasculaires sont liées à la pollution de l'air. Il est donc important que l'on sache ce que l'on respire. Nous pouvons choisir l'eau que nous buvons, mais nous ne pouvons pas choisir l'air que nous respirons. Par contre, nous pouvons veiller à ce que cette air que nous respirons soit moins polluée. Il suffit de sortir de chez soi pour se rendre compte que nos villes africaines souffrent de la pollution. What is done the most in our country is the open cast. So you would realize that the dust that is being generated is generated all the time and is generated over years and which has caused a lot of problems for mining communities. The dry season come around, these areas become very dusty and you have dust particulates all over the place. Ghana as a country, we are in the tropics. So as and when you are, you are watering the whole roads, you are watering wherever the dust would actually take place, it is drying at the same time. So you end up not doing almost anything. We are hopeful that the AirGeo program will carry on successfully and will be able to help with the, uh, some of the needed solutions for air pollution, mitigation, monitoring, management in mining communities here in Ghana.